Today I'll show you how to create a stunning image carousel like this that scrolls infinitely when you click on these navigation buttons. Also, I'll show you how to make this carousel clickable so when someone clicks on it, they will be redirected to a new page. We'll build everything from scratch and use CSS code. But don't worry, it's super simple and it will only take 5 minutes. First, search for the testimonial widget from the widget panel. Here it is. Drag it to the right side of the two column structure. On the left side, you'll see these three items, which are basically three slides of a carousel. I'll go ahead and delete these last two. Now, clear out the default text from the first slide and replace it with an image of a food item. And then add this name. Next, duplicate this customized slide as many times as you need. For each duplicate, swap the image and change the caption to fit the new item. So I'll quickly do that and it's done. Now we need to add navigation buttons to the carousel. To do this, place a container below the main CTA button like this and set its direction to a row that will help to align buttons horizontally. For the left navigation button, clear its default text and add a left arrow icon. Next, I'll style this button with a background color and this text color and set the border radius to somewhere around this. Lastly, to make this appear like a circle, I'll put the padding to, let's say 12. And yeah, it looks perfect. Now copy and paste this button for the right navigation. Then just change the icon to the right arrow by going here. Before we add a CSS code, we should change a few settings for our slider. So go here, set slides per view to three. So three slides are visible at once. Adjust the carousel's width to 1200 pixels, then disable autoplay in the additional settings to prevent the carousel from scrolling automatically. Now let's make our carousel look good. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my side speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So select the carousel, go to advanced settings, scroll down and click here. Then go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste it here. So as soon as you add your code, the cards will look like this, which looks pretty good. But the height of the cards is too big. So to fix it, just select them, go here and adjust the height like this. Okay, text on the carousel is getting lost in the background. So select the carousel, go to style and scroll down till you find this. Let's change the text color and typography settings. Okay, our cards are ready. Now it's time to connect the navigation buttons to the carousel. We'll assign CSS class to the carousel and the navigation button so that it links with the HTML code that we will add in the next section. So select the main container Go to advanced and then add a card carousel to the CSS classes. Similarly, select the buttons and add card-prv to the left navigation button and card-next to the right navigation button. Finally, let's add the HTML code to make our main container so that the navigation button becomes functional. So go here and add a HTML widget just below the carousel like this. And then go to this box and paste the JavaScript code. Now let's update and preview the change by clicking here. And yes, the carousel is working just fine. Next, let's make sure our carousel is responsive on all devices. First, go to the responsive mode and select tablet portrait. As you can see, this requires some adjustments so let me reduce the size of the heading and text editor like this. For the carousel on tablets, select it and change slides per view to somewhere around this. I'll adjust the carousel's width to 620 pixels so that it fits well within the tablet screen. Now let's optimize for mobile. Here, I want the navigation buttons below the carousel so copy the container with the navigation buttons and paste it below our carousel. 
to ensure a smooth user experience hide the navigation container above the carousel on mobile devices go to advanced settings then responsive and choose hide on mobile portrait next hide the newly pasted navigation container on the larger screens select the container below the carousel go to advanced settings then responsive and choose hide on desktop finally Let's align the navigation buttons to the center of the mobile view for a balanced look. It may look weird here, but appears just fine when seen on the mobile devices. And that's it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.